abrasion resistance test on concrete paver block. As per IS 15658-2021, apparatus used in this test. First weight balance. Second hot air oven. Third abrasive powder. Fourth vernier caliper. Square shaped specimens measuring 71 plus or minus 0.5 millimeters shall be cut from the block specimens. Note down the weight of sample 1. Note down the weight of sample 2. Note down the weight of sample 3. Testing dry specimens, the specimens shall be dried to constant mass at a temperature of 105 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. After the overdry sample weight, note down the weight of sample 1. Note down the weight of sample 2. Note down the weight of sample 3. The grinding path of the disc of the abrasion testing machine shall be evenly strewn with 20 gram of the standard abrasive powder. The specimen shall be fixed in the holding device such that the testing surface faces the grinding disc. The specimen shall be centrally loaded with 294 plus or minus 3 Newton. The grinding disc shall be run at a speed of 30 rpm. The disc shall be stopped after one cycle of 22 revolutions. The disc and contact face of the specimen shall be cleaned of abrasive powder and debris. The specimen shall be turned 90 degrees in the clockwise direction and 20 gram of abrasive powder shall be evenly strewn on the testing track before starting the next cycle. The specimen shall be turned 90 degrees in the clockwise direction and 20 gram of abrasive powder shall be evenly strewn on the testing track before starting the next cycle. The specimen shall be turned 90 degrees in the clockwise direction and 20 gram of abrasive powder shall be evenly strewn on the testing track before starting the next cycle.
note down weight after first cycle. Similarly perform the remaining three cycles in the same pattern and individually record their weight after completion of each cycle. Weight after second cycle. Weight after third cycle. Weight after fourth cycle. Calculation. Delta V is equal to delta M divided by PR. 